to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Shelly Wordsworth. Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Oh, come on, it's time to go home now. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, I'm Shelley Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's have some fun. Hmm. Well, this one definitely goes first. <laughs> oh, you're so clever, Jackson. <laughs> What's it called? It's number one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> number one. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> it's very straight, that number one. Yes, it is. <laughs> OK, what's next? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think it's a curved one. Oh, um, which <laughs> curved one? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> oh. Um, the children in the library today, they got all these things... <laughs> numbers. Mm. Yes, numbers. they got all these numbers mm. in the right order. Shelly! Yeah. Jackson! Oh, oh good, it's Shelly! Oh. 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 Magic sprinkles! What are you two doing here? But we're always here. You are? Yes! Oh, of course you are, mm. silly me! <laughs> I think I've got a hole in my memory today. Oh, oh dear. Um, Shelly, yes. why have you got yellow hands? Yellow hands? Yes. <laughs> oh, no, these. No, these are rubber gloves. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, but why, why are you wearing rubber gloves? <laughs> oh, well, that's because I... Yes? Oh, you know, I can't remember. Well, why can't you remember? Because I must have forgotten. Oh. Oh, now, what was I doing before I came into the library today? Yeah. Was I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was I? <laughs> <gasps> That's it! Is it? Yes! Oh, but I had something in my hand. Uh, was it a feather duster? How did you know that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jackson's very clever. <laughs> yes, he is! Super duper brain boxy! <laughs> now go to the top of the class and take your knitting! <laughs> <laughs> what does she mean? I don't know. Mm. Oh no. What is it? There's something else I'm supposed to remember. What? I don't know because I've forgotten. Mm. Well, how are you supposed to know that you know to remember something? Yeah. Because I, I tied a knot in it. Here, look. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, no. oh. oh, I know. Mm. I know. Mm -hmm. Was it to make a story? Oh, oh yes. Make a story. Yeah. Yes! Make a story! Oh, Jelly, you are also super duper <laughs> brain boxy with knobs on it! <laughs> but, but what shall we use? Oh, well, let me see. Um, magic sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> help to make the story machine work. Can you help us? Yeah, get your imaginations ready. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! Yeah. Oh, it's a playbook. Yeah. Oh, and it's called Where Is It? One morning, Mum was making the bed as usual. 
when she noticed that one of her pillows was missing. Where is it, she wondered. Coco was looking for one of her favourite stripy tops. She was sure it was there yesterday. Where is it, she wondered. Downstairs, someone was very busy at work, making something. Hold on, thought Coco. Where are my bright tracksuit bottoms? <laughs> someone was adding them to the top and the pillow. Mum was getting Tom dressed, ready to go to the park. Hmm. Hold on, she wondered. Where are his red Wellington boots? <laughs> Someone was adding them to the tracksuit bottoms. Time to wash up, thought Mum. On with the tap, in with the washing up liquid and... Oh, hold on. Where are my gloves? <laughs> Someone was making bright yellow hands with them. Tom decided to play with his balloons. But where's his favourite pink one? Has it flown away? Where is it? Someone was drawing a head on it. It was Tom's sister, Cecily. Coco had lost her clown's hat. She wanted to wear it at the fancy dress party. None of the other hats would be right at all. Cecily was putting Coco's hat on her new friend, <laughs> Mr. Magdalena. Cecily and Mr. Magdalena were watching their favourite programme on TV when... Huh? So that's where our things are. <laughs> Mr. Magdalena's fantastic, thought Mum. And so Cecily. One, two. Yeah, which one comes next? Do you know? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, one, two. Oh, buckle my shoe. Pardon? <laughs> one, two, buckle my shoe. Oh. What are you up to, Mr Pink? I can't remember. Oh, I'm not very good at remembering either. No, I can't mm. remember which one comes next. Which what? Oh, I see. Numbers. Mm. Um, OK. Uh, one, mm. two... Yeah. And then next comes a curly whirly one. Yes, but which one? Do you know? Well, guess. Uh, um, um, uh, this one, I think. Yes. Oh, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> tissue! Oh, oh, bless you, Shelley. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jaxie. Mm. Oh, look, you got it right. Did I? Mm. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> now count with me. One, one two, two, three. three. What comes next? Oh, oh, I remember now. Mm. One, two, three, four, four. <laughs> and five. Five. <laughs> One, mm. two, me and you. Two, three, Jackson and me. <laughs> <laughs> three, four, what are they for? Four, five, snakes alive. <laughs> <laughs> the follow me, Jackson. Follow me and number three. All oh, right, I'm coming. <laughs> Get your imaginations going. <sighs> we might make a number story. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> it's a rainforest story. And it's called Forgetful Monkey. Deep in the forest, there are stories to tell of froggy, snake, bird, and monkey as well. 
Monkey was sitting alone, confused. <sighs> Monkey, usually happy, was not amused. Hmm. Proud Bird arrived and saw poor Monkey sad. What's the matter, old friend? What's so bad? Oh, Bird, I'm such a forgetful creature. My memory's so poor, I can never ever remember what to do. I'm never ever sure. Do you mean you find it hard to remember what to do when? You're absolutely right, Proud Bird. Sorry, what was the question again? Uh, what sort of things do you forget? I forget everything, Snake. Where I should be, what I should do. It makes my poor brain ache. You need help. That's very clear. And I've a great idea. Every day, just make a list of what you need to do. And when you've finished what you've done, you simply cross it through. Oh, you're brilliant, Froggy. I'll start one right away. So, let me think. The millions of things I need to do today. Get up, change pyjamas, breakfast time, collect bananas. <laughs> And so the list went on and on until when he wrote... Ten. Time to sleep. All his friends had gone. Now, I really must remember what I have to do. I did get up. One, two, three, four. I met my friends. That's number five. There must be more. Why, oh, yes, of course, number six. Meet Snakey for a game. I love this list. I'm not forgetting. My life will never be the same. So up got Monkey to look for Snake to tell him... Life is grand. When through the trees there blew a breeze, the oh. list flew from his hand. <sighs> oh, Snake, Frog, Bird. My list has gone. Oh, no. What can I do? Do. Well, what comes next? Can you recall? I really wish I knew. What was written on your list? Let's sit a while and think. And slowly down and down the sun began to sink. It's late, my friends. Let's go to sleep beneath the forest mist. Oh, go to sleep? <laughs> the last thing on my list. Tomorrow, I'll make another list and hold on to it tight. But now it's time to settle down. And so, I'll say good night. <laughs> Monkey couldn't remember very well, could he? <laughs> Almost as bad as me. <laughs> um, can you remember where Jelly is? Uh, um... There, Mr Mogdena. Oh, he won't stand still. Wow. Oh, oh hi, Shelley. Ooh. You'll make my balloon man stand still, won't you? I will. Yes. Oh, please, you're so clever. Please. All right. No. <clears throat> Pleasel, teasel, magic squeezel. Wow, we, you <laughs> did it, Shelley. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. It was my magic sprinkle. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Have you ever put magic sprinkles in the story machine? Um, I can't remember. Oh, well, come yeah. on, let's put some in now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Inkles, tinkles, magic sprinkles. Oh. Hey, it's working, it's working. Oh. Uh, quick, put some imagination in too. Yeah. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. and the magic wand. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the stars and thinking about magic. I wonder what it would be like to do magic. She's off again, said one cow. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to meet a magician, please. 
There you go, madam. Oh, very tight. And they set off for a magic castle. And then they arrived. She was outside a beautiful castle. Help, said a small voice. Blue Cow looked down and saw a long black stick with white tips lying in the grass beside her. Yes, me. Help me. Blue Cow realised with a start that it was the stick that was talking. My name is David Copperpot, the famous magician. I'm afraid I accidentally turned myself into a magic wand. Will you help me to become myself again? Oh, of course. What do I have to do? asked Blue Cow. You wave me about and say the magic word, said David. But I can't tell you the magic word. You have to guess. OK, said Blue Cow, and she picked up the wand. Abracadabra, she said. <coughs> Ping! A row of cakes appeared. Uh, not quite. Try again. Uh, open sesame, tried Blue Cow. Ping! A large <coughs> pot of tea appeared. Oh, oh, perhaps you could give me a clue. Well, what do you say when you really want something? Uh, give it to me now, said Blue Cow. Ping! A bucket of water appeared from the sky and soaked her. Just then, an idea occurred to Blue Cow. She waved the wand again. Please, she asked. Ping! The wand shot into the air, a cloud of stars burst out of the top. Bang! There stood David Copperpot. Oh, thank you so much. Perhaps you'd like to come into the castle and we can drink the tea and eat some of these cakes that you made appear. Ooh, that would be lovely, said Blue Cow. And they went into the castle for tea. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a magician's castle and made tea and cakes appear. Everyone knows cows can't do magic. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> Blue Cow's magic word was please. A magic word can be anything you like if it's magic. Oh, oh. Like what? I don't know. Have a go. Make one up. Jelly beans. Number, rumba, rumba, rumba. Well done, you two. Oh, look, you've made some light. Oh, yes. Time for us to disappear. Yes, yeah. the children will be coming back to the library soon. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you yeah. goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story See you makers, soon. Bye. Are fabulous. stories are fun. Thanks for helping us. Goodbye. Story Bye, story makers. Come back to the library again soon. <laughs> <laughs>